Hi everyone and welcome back to this tutorial series in Interactive Brokers. So for those of you who are aspiring options traders or you've been trading stocks for a long time and now you want to go into options trading in IBKR, today's video is for you. So today we will walk through on how to apply for options level 1 in IBKR. Options level 1 will allow you to trade covered positions such as covered call and buy right option strategies in IBKR. So next, we're going to briefly cover the definition of covered call and buy right strategy options. If you already know the definitions, then you can jump to the tutorial in the chapter timestamps below. So according to Investopedia, a covered call involves a seller offering buyers a call option at a set price and expiration date on a security that the seller owns. The buyer pays the seller of the call option a premium to obtain the right to buy shares or contracts at a predetermined future price which is the strike price. The premium is a cash fee paid on the day the option is sold and is the seller's money to keep regardless of whether the option is exercised. Then, a buy right is an options trading strategy where an investor buys a security, usually a stock with options available on it, and simultaneously writes or sells a call option on that security. So both covered call and buy right option strategy involve the combination of buying or holding a stock and selling call options on that same stock to generate income from the premiums received. To illustrate, for covered call, imagine you own 100 shares of ABC company, currently trading at $50 per share. You are neutral to slightly bullish on the stock's short-term prospect, but you can't expect it to rise dramatically. So you decide to implement a covered call strategy. You sell one call option contract for ABC with a strike price of $55 and an expiration date one month away. For selling this option, you receive a premium of $2 per share totaling $200 for the 100 share that you own. Now, if the stock price stays below $55 until the expiration date, you keep the premium you receive from selling the call option, which is your profit. If the stock price goes above $55, the buyer of the call option may choose to exercise it and you may have to sell your share at $55 per share regardless of how high the stock price goes beyond $55. Then, the buy right strategy is essentially the same as a covered call you buy the stock and write or sell the call option simultaneously. So for example, let's say you want to invest in XYZ company, which is trading at $30 per share. So you buy 200 shares of XYZ for a total investment of $6,000. At the same time, you sell two call option contracts for XYZ with a strike price of $35 and an expiration date three months away. For selling these options, you receive a premium of $1 per share totaling $200, which is $100 per contract since one contract usually represents 100 shares. Similar to the covered call, if the stock price stays below $35 until the expiration date, you keep the premium you receive from selling the call options. If the stock price rises above $35 and the call options get exercised, you may have to sell your shares at $35 per share. So that's the definition of covered call and buy right option strategies in options trading. So now back to IBKR. If you are new to Interactive Brokers and you haven't signed up for an account, you can watch my previous tutorial videos. I'll put the videos above and in the description below. And also, if you want to sign up for an account, you can use my referral link. I'll put them in the description below as well. So now on to the tutorial. So now after you log into your IPKR account, go to the main icon on the top right, which is next to help. Then click settings. In your settings, go to trading permissions. If you can't find it, it's under the trading section. Then here, you see the list of asset classes, products, and markets that you can apply to trade in. If you have not unlocked trading permission in certain asset classes, the asset class will be grayed out as you see here now. So then you can click request to apply for trading permission. So for options, currently I'm at options trading level 2. If yours is grayed out, just click request to continue. Then you have to select the locations you wish to trade options. In this video, we want to trade options in the United States. So check it and then click continue. Then you probably see this screen. The investment experiences provided does not meet the requirement to trade options. So you need to indicate how many years of experience you have in stock and options trading, then how many trades you did on average per year, and then what is your knowledge level in the trading area. So one suggestion to increase your chances of getting approved for the trading permissions in options is to have some years of experience in options, did some number of trades, and have good knowledge of the subject matter. Then click continue. Then you probably need to sign a document. As I've already been approved for options level 2, 
I'm just showing you what I can recall from memory the process to get applied and approved for options level 1. Then your application will be sent for review and you should hear back from IBKR within a few hours or within a few business days at most. And if and when your options trading permission has been approved, in your trading permission page, you should see that your options level is now level 1 and options enabled. So now you can sell covered calls and buy right options in IBKR but then you also need to own 100 shares in order to do the transaction. So here's a quick tutorial on how to sell covered calls. We'll use Grab as an example. And now we're in the options chain of Grab. If you're not familiar with options chain, I'll quickly run through. So on the left side here, we'll see calls. And on the right side, we see puts in the middle is the strike price. Then above the call, strike price and put columns, we have here the expiration date. So we have already selected this date. Now we want to sell covered calls. So in the call section, above the strike price, you see here the colors are darker shades of blue. This means the call options are in the money. And then the colors that are in lighter shade of blue here, it means the options are out of the money. In short, in the money is ITM and out of the money is OTM. So for this example here, we're going to click this strike price. And at this date, now we're going to sell the covered call at this strike price on this date, on this expiration date. Then you see here a preview of your order. It show you your limit price, how much will be your profit and your losses, and also the cost and the option script. Then when you sell a covered call, you notice that your order is negative and credit. In this example here, it's $2.90 for one contract. So one contract is 100 shares. So I can get an approximately $290 into my account. And this is the premium I get in return for offering my 100 shares on Grab. So now I just have to hope and pray that by March 15, Grab shares will go down and my 100 shares on Grab won't be called away. And I want to clarify here that this is for illustration purpose. This is not financial advice. Invest at your own risk. Then next, you can put in the quantity, the price that you want to buy. That means the limit price or the market price. And when you want your order to be executed during the trading day or until a certain set date. If you're satisfied with this, then you can click sell. So since I sold one covered call on Grab as an example, this is how it should also look like in your IPKR portfolio. If you sold one covered call of any one stock, it doesn't have to be grab only. So you see here on the left column, the first column, the date has changed. I sold a grab call at 0 0.5 strike price and set to expire on 19 of July 2024. And you also probably notice that the date has changed because I rolled my call option. And for rolling call options, I'll cover in a future video about rolling options. So we move on to so the next column here. Negative 1 is the quantity because I sold one call, so it's negative. Then negative 266 and 35 cents is my cost for the option. Then 428 is the amount I need to break even. Then 283 and 13 cents is the market value. Then C87 is the last price. Then negative 1490 is the unrealized profit and loss. Then 266 is the average price. So if I had sold more call options at different prices and dates, then the average price will also change accordingly. Then positive 665 is the daily PL. So you see all these columns here, you can edit them by clicking the three dots at the top right. Then you can change what you want to see and what you don't want to see in your portfolio. All this can be done in your IPKR web portal on the desktop. So that's about it in options level one trading permission in interactive brokers. And then there are higher and more options trading strategies in IBKR. You want to stick around for more, so you can also hit the subscribe button below to stay updated and notified on future videos and tutorials in this IBKR series. Or maybe you'd like to learn more about investing, finance and real estate and also home and living products as well. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.